balances the stress in the other direction. It's just solids that can hold a differential stress or different stresses in different directions. So if the maximum principal stress is vertical stress and the intermediate principal stress is SH max and minimum principal stress is uh, SH min. Uh, this is what we're going to call a normal faulting uh, regime. And it's called like that because in that type of uh, environment is when you get uh, normal faults. And usually you will have this type of uh, stresses also in tectonically passive environments. So whenever a tectonic stresses either are not pushing too much or you may have even some locations where even there is a little bit of extension. So this is also called an extensional environment. So if you have a sedimentary basin where, where there, there is not a lot of tectonics, then very likely this is going to be the case. The, the vertical stress is going to be higher than the horizontal stresses. We're going to see the reason for that later on uh, based on uh, linear elasticity. And uh, this is going to be what we call a normal faulting. Yes? What is an extensional environment? An extensional environment, it's in, instead of an environment in which you have tectonic stresses that push the rock to the sides in extension, it's slightly uh, extending over time. The second category here is going to be the one in which the maximum principal stress is uh, horizontal, the intermediate stress is vertical, and the minimum principal stress is uh, the minimum. Let me add something over here. Examples. Uh, here, Permian Basin, uh, Eagle Ford, Barnett, all of those are in that category. The second type uh, is what is called strike slip. And again, this is related to, to faulting, something we're going to see later on. Uh, and just for now, I'm going to ask you to just, just to, to remember the names, but we're going to see the reason for that later on. And this one usually happens when you do have tectonic strains, but they are in what is called a close to a transform boundary. And an example of this is most of the coast of California uh, and specifically San Andreas Fault, it's a, it's a transform boundary. Uh, in this case, uh, because the maximum principal stress is the biggest and minimum principal stress is the smallest, you have shear uh, if you see that from the surface. And that makes the faults to be, uh, to be vertical and to be oriented respect to these two horizontal stresses. And the last one is going to be uh, the one in which the maximum principal stress is the maximum stress. The intermediate stress is also horizontal and the minimum principal stress is vertical. And this one is called a reverse faulting. And this one is going to occur when there is a thrust 
environment. Example of these type of uh, environment, uh, you're going to find it wherever there are, there are tall mountains. Uh, so for example, uh, I, I was talking yesterday to, to the, the, the seminar speaker. He was saying that he worked for some time in, uh, in China, in the west, uh, close to Himalayas. And over there, uh, you have a lot of uh, very high stresses in horizontal direction. You can go to some parts in the south of Argentina. And also, if you go towards the west, you may find reverse faulting. Uh, there are some places also in Australia that uh, you also find uh, reverse faulting. And I noticed that in some of these cases is where you would expect those hydraulic fractures that we talked about before to be horizontal. And, and actually that coincides with some other regions or basins in which it's not that easy to do hydraulic fracturing as it is uh, here in the in North America. Uh, okay, guys, I think we're on time. And uh, uh, we're going to pick up from here on, on Thursday. So remember, the, the homework is due on Friday. And if you have any questions, just let me know or stop by my office. If you do plan to go to my office, just send me an email to tell me uh, what time you're going to be there so I, I make sure that, that I am there at that time. Thank you, guys. See you on Thursday.